Welcome parents and students of the class of 2020. Well, never let it be said that at Juan Diego, we do not know how to make an impressment entrance. Do you like how those students entered the room? And how about that song? Here I am, Lord. It was written in 1981 by an American Jesuit priest named Dan Shutt. It is one of the most popular Catholic songs ever written. And I think in the middle of COVID-19, while we celebrate the graduation of the class of 2020, it is one of the most powerful songs for us to sing and reflect upon. Recall a significant passage. Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will hold your people in my heart. This song has been sung in many battlefields by soldiers of faith. It has given strength to terminally ill cancer patients. And this past spring, it could have been an American anthem while we watched over 100,000 people die from COVID-19. And what is this song saying? It is asking us, whenever we are called to face hardships, like what the whole world is enduring right now, in the spring of our senior season, to do so with the hope that God will be there with us. It is saying, here I am, God. I'm really afraid, but I'm going to walk through this journey of life with you by my side. Students, maybe this is what we are supposed to have learned these past several weeks. And if you do so, it could be a gift for life. And so let us pray. You, rem you may remain seated. Please bow your head and join me in prayer as we use the words to that song, Here I Am, Lord, to do so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I will break their hearts of stone, give them hearts for love alone. Who will speak my word to them? Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will hold your people in my heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. On behalf of Bishop Oscar Solis, the Roman Catholic Bishop of the Diocese of Salt Lake City, Mr. Mark Long, Superintendent of Catholic Schools for the Diocese of Salt Lake City, and the Juan Diego Catholic High School faculty, staff, and school community, we welcome you to the 19th Annual Commencement Exercises for Juan Diego Catholic High School. We eagerly await today's festivities, look forward to many planned celebrations this weekend, and await a new chapter in the lives of our graduates that we hope is filled with adventure, love, learning, and faith. We remember and keep in our prayers Mr. and Mrs. Sam and Aileen Skaggs and the entire Skaggs family, benefactor, benefactors of our school, we pray for those in the Juan Diego community who have died since our last commencement. Steve Grogan and Robert Riley, class of 2003, Juan Diego's first graduating class who attended Juan Diego all four years. Jessica Ann Beer, member of the class of 2008. Wyatt Garrison, a member of the class of 2014. Mr. Lindsay Atwood, a generous benefactor for the Skaggs Catholic Center and St. John the Baptist Parish. Mrs. Barbara Stinson Lee, 
longtime editor of the Intermountain Catholic newspaper. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. We begin today with the valedictory and salutatory addresses. The original tradition of valedictory and salutatory speeches was that the valedictorian gave a farewell speech on a special occasion such as commencement. The salutatorian typically gave the opening speech a salutation at the same type of ceremony or event. Through the years, they have come to mean that the most academically accomplished students in the graduating class address those assembled at commencement exercises. This year's valedictorian, Courtney L. Stridham, and salutatorians, plural, Thomas Barbera and Alessa Zweiber, through their academic excellence, discipline in the pursuit of knowledge, and love of learning, embody the spirit of these addresses. Since there are nine commencement exercises, count them, nine, our three speakers will each take turns delivering their speech to each of three different ceremonies so that each commencement ex uh, exercise hears from at least one of the speakers. I now invite Alyssa Zweber to deliver the salutatorian address for the first commencement ceremony for Juan Diego Catholic High School. Alyssa. Ladies, gentlemen, parents, family, friends, teachers, and loved ones, hello and welcome. My name is Alyssa Zweber, and I am one of the salutatorians this year. Today, we are gathered to celebrate the achievement of the class of 2020. For some of us, like myself, our journey on this campus began 14 years ago in preschool. For others, this journey began four years ago as nervous freshmen. Regardless of when our journey started, we've formed a bond that has unified us as part of the Soaring Eagle. I remember four years ago when our high school journey began. I thought I knew what to expect, but I never could have prepared for all the people I've met in my time here. I look at my class and I am inspired by the people that I see. We are strong, we are kind, we lift others up. Juan Diego focuses on educating the whole person. We are taught to lead, to serve our neighbors, to inspire good in others, and to be an all-around good person. I believe that we have achieved these goals. We have found our communities, whether this be in sports teams, the arts, clubs, or just the friends you've made along the way on campus. We have grown to be so much more than the nervous freshmen that we entered as. We have matured into strong young men and women. Now we must go on our own ways and create our own paths whether this be in college, the military, or by joining the workforce. I believe in the class of 2020. I know that no matter what we do, we will leave an impact. There's been a running joke in our class that we always seem to get the short end of the sick. We were beat in our eighth grade pep rally by the sixth graders. The reading period was implemented our freshman year, and we lost our phones our senior year. I remember wondering earlier in the year if our curse had finally been broken Everything seemed to be going too smoothly. I could have never guessed what was coming next. This year has been unlike any other. We have had our senior year up upended by a pandemic and just had to roll with the punches. We have had to persevere against all the odds, and yet we're still here. We've made it. Today, we will walk across this stage and receive our diplomas. This is the culmination of all of our hard work. We did it. I feel so lucky to be able to gather here with all of you today. I know many of us were worried this day might not come, but now we can be so much more grateful that we have the opportunity to be united one last time. We have had to learn how to be strong. We know that nothing is guaranteed and we must live in the moment. 
Juan Diego was the first stop in our journey. Now we must prepare for the journey ahead. I know we all have bright futures and that we will make it beyond the walls of Juan Diego. We have seen it all. Nothing can surprise us or knock us off our game. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you. One unique aspect of attending school at the Skaggs Catholic Center is that our campus has students ranging in age from six weeks all the way up to 18 years old. There is a class for every single age group in between these ages. This diverse offering on campus has created a class of students that the school has affectionately, refer, affectionately refers to as lifers, spending their pre-K or kindergarten through 12th grade graduation years here at the Skaggs Catholic Center. The class of 2020 boasts 30 lifers. They began their journey at the Skaggs Catholic Center as either preschool or kindergarten students and have stayed on campus until today, the moment of our high school graduation. Juan Diego thanks them and their parents for their commitment to Catholic education. Lifers, if you are part of this ceremony, please stand and be recognized along with the others that are being shown on the screens to my left and right. So 29 more to go, that's one there. Each year as part of our graduation proceedings, Juan Diego honors members of its school community with a variety of awards, usually at three different ceremonies. This year, due to the pandemic, it was not possible to conduct these ceremonies. Instead, Juan Diego honored all of the award recipients at a new ceremony called the Presentation of Honors. I now invite you to view the names of the students and the awards that they received um, yesterday at the uh, presentation of honors ceremony. I ask that if any award recipients are part of this particular ceremony to please stand and be recognized. At this time, we will present the certificates of graduation to our seniors. Each year, we ask out of respect for all the graduates, please hold your applause until all have been announced. Each graduate and their families have earned the right to hear their name announced here, and especially those on our live streaming broadcast who could not be here. Thank you for understanding your cooperation and your decorum. Dr. Colosimo, the following students have successfully completed the requirements of Juan Diego Catholic High School, the Diocese of Salt Lake City, and the State of Utah for graduation. We now request that you confer upon each student a graduate, uh, a Juan Diego Catholic High School decree with all the rights and privileges therein contained. Seniors, we ask that you please come forward at the calling of your name and receive your diploma. Kamari, Kamari Kenley Bailey. Hunter C. Butcher. Braxton Castellano.
Tomás Cruz Villalvazo. Carolina Toscano Garcia. Matthew Thomas Hudson. Grady Lambert. Jared L. Lewis. Leah Lore Rays. Keikoa Frederick Sosaya Matal L.A. Christian Jorge Na. Regina Pikes. Wesley Vaughn Rasmussen. Aleman Allison Sanchez. Jacob Cole Whitehead. Maxwell Francis Woodcock. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the 2020 graduating class from Juan Diego Catholic High School. Please be seated. In the 
I want to thank C.J. Uh, Perigallo and Jackson Butler for that beautiful rendition of the gospel folk song, Yes, I Will. It was developed by a Christian group known as Vertical Worship. Last Sunday, as we began making plans for this week, Mr. Tack played this song, the version the boys had done with Mr. Van Wagner. For some reason, the song stuck, and when I went home that night, I could not get it out of my head. I started texting our team. They might say I started harassing them with an obsession about using this song this week. So it was either to shut me up or it was because the song resonated with them as well that we are using this song this week. Sometime when you get a chance, you might play the song while studying the lyrics. I won't recount all of them here, just one passage. And if you'll listen carefully, it goes like this. I count on one thing, the same God that never fails will not fail me now. He will not fail me now. In the waiting, the same God who's never late is working all things out. He's working all things out. Yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. Yes, I will bless your name. Oh, yes, I will sing for joy when my heart is heavy all my days. Oh, yes, I will. Did this song keep bugging me because its message is what we are supposed to learn from COVID-19? Or was it for this most disappointing of senior seasons? Perhaps it's to remind us about what really matters at Juan Diego Catholic High School. And that is this, when times are tough, stick with God. God will not fail you. He will not fail you. He may be just working things out. And always praise God and praise his holy name. Yes, I will. I now invite the graduates of the class of 2020 to please stand for the changing of the tassels. So at the conclusion of our final prayer, the graduates will exit as they came in down these double aisles. And just like a ride at Disneyland, you all came in through these doors, and you're all going to exit through those doors. And so follow them. Let them leave. But as soon as they exit, have all your stuff ready, go right behind, because the last ceremony that we do is out at the South Main entrance where they get to throw their caps, and we have a reception for you planned there as well. So part of that is because it's cool and part of that is like we kind of need you out of the auditorium so we can disinfect it for the next group that's coming. So uh, if you'll bow your heads and you might stand. Students, let's stand. Let's have everybody stand. It's our final prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Students, say it along with me. St. Juan Diego, be our angel and protect us. Stay with us as we struggle through this modern life, often not knowing where to set our priorities. 
Help us to pray to our God to obtain the gifts of the Holy Spirit and use them for the good of humanity and the good of our church. Through the heart of Our Lady of Guadalupe, to the heart of Jesus, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.